Under the initial stay-at-home order, the governor asked local municipalities and utility companies to not cut off people's water for non-payment, including in Jacksonville. When Governor Cooper's shut-off ban expired at the end of July, there were about 1,500 accounts that were considered overdue or delinquent. Now that number is at 200. The city handles 17,000 customers providing water and sewer service. City manager Richard Woodruff says Jacksonville gets millions of dollars each year through water and sewer revenues. At one time, we were over $500,000 behind on those collections. Woodruff says the city is offering payment plans to help people with accounts considered delinquent. In addition to paying your normal monthly bill, you can also pay one-sixth of any back bill and eventually over a six-month period come back into balance. Woodroff says fewer than 10% of customers are in a default situation due to COVID-19. Of the 200 accounts, that means that we have now discontinued service with those folks. Woodruff says the only way to reactivate water and sewer with the city is to reestablish credit and register. A moratorium on shutoffs from North Carolina's large utility companies is set to expire at the end of this month. Big providers like Duke Energy are urging customers to pay bills as soon as possible. That company is giving customers an extra 30 days to do so. The State Utilities Commission reported last month that more than 1.3 customers avoided shutoffs because of its order. As of June 30th, the State Utilities reported they were owed $257 million in past due bills. In Jacksonville, I'm Kayla Schmidt, 9 on your side.